Once you have people who are like like in tech or have technical positions, you start outside of those prestigious, you know, I'm a doctor, a certain type of specialist doctor, or I'm a lawyer or I'm an entertainer or whatever. Then you just get regular people, but you realize, hey, they make substantially more than I have and they may not have even finished school or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so your mind starts to be open up like, were you that catalyst of like, baby, like, Mm-hmm. Stop worrying about all that here. Do all this and, and get you a job that's gonna pay you what you work. Was you the person telling her that? Yeah, I was pretty much telling her, no, no, don't focus on no. She, you know, at the time she had a contract job, so it, it was times where she wouldn't work for a week. It depends on the contract and everything, right? Mm-hmm. And um, when the certain like say when holidays come up, she want to buy gifts. I don't worry about that. Don't worry about me. I'm good. We are good. So we just focus on what we can do. So um, you know, I was just you know giving her that um that comfort on that. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect us. We're good. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I, I was, uh, you know, trying to make sure that she was good, make sure she was comfortable with uh, everything going on. And, you know, it was it was a little challenging at first, but, you know, she got through it. And she um, put her head back up and realized, you know, okay, let me try doing Uber. Let me do Lyft instead. And she found a way around it. Postmates. Postmates, yeah. Which turned into Uber Eats. And yeah. I, I just, I understand what job seekers feel. I know, I know what that's like. Yeah. I know what it's like to... To not pay you what you what your your worth. I yeah. know what it feels like to have a degree and two degrees, and you're doing total opposite. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine having a law degree and being a Lyft driver. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, there were many days where I was just like, "Why did I go to law school?" Yeah. If I'm like, it was hard. Yeah. And at that time, she was thinking to herself. She was like, "I myself, I didn't have a degree." And I was in tech, you know, making, you know, make, making a decent amount of money than people that had a, a degree like she did. So it was, you know, puzzling for trying to piece that together. And I said, I definitely get it. You would think once you got out of college, you would be somewhere further in your life than people that don't have a degree or you know, have a, um, a, a, a law, law degree, especially. So, yeah. Yeah, we definitely can talk about that. I've, I've talked about it on many episodes and solo episodes of how. What happens sometimes when you go to school or, or people know where you're from, if, if you don't automatically hit it right there, there are the people who are always the naysayers saying, mm-hmm, you thought you was better than us going to mm-hmm. school. Now you just like us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and what is the term called? It's I think it's called post-grad depression. Mm-hmm. You finished school and now ain't nothing landing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You found out, and I say this because I recently had a young man reach out to me on LinkedIn, he just graduated, I think, either a bachelor's or something in cybersecurity. Mm-hmm. Tell me, hey, I, I can't get an interview. I can't get a job. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I'm like, college is not preparing them for yes. the job search process. That's true. And and that gave me also an idea. It's like, how can I make myself partner with colleges or whatever to help mm-hmm. people specifically like computer information system, computer science? Because mm-hmm. I've already been through it and I know – but that curriculum's not teaching you, and I know how to help you get to the next level. Just, at least just get interviews. Yeah. But I, I thought about this like you'll go like a long, long time, but just not find nothing because you're not even realizing that you did learn a lot of stuff, but you don't even realize how to highlight the skills that you did get from yeah. school too. Yeah. I think that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. I made an offer to a guy who, so new grad, of course, just graduated graduated last May, and I. I was in a like kind of a team who needed to hire multiple engineers. And so I so he got the interview, he did well, and I called him and he was like so I told him I said, you know, we want to make you an offer. And he was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah." And so he was like he said, "Shanae, I graduated in May. I have applied so much." And he said, this just came out of nowhere. He was like, the interviews came out of nowhere. This offer is coming out of nowhere. And he was fine with like relocating. Like it wasn't, and he, but the the relief in his mm-hmm. voice and on his face was just like, thank God. And and I I know that feeling. Yeah. I know I know that feeling where, especially with new grads, where you did all this work and now your classmates have become your competitors because all of you are looking for a job at the same time. And so this one particular team that I worked with, I, I praise God for this team because they gave me the opportunity to to make offers to new grads. And so to to experience like that, that uh, turnover, so to speak, of going from now I've, I've, 
I'm a college grad. I am now a job seeker, but now I have a, a law. I mean, a, excuse me, a job in a very prestigious company. Mm-hmm. It to watch that and to hear the relief in their voices. I, I know what that's like. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I know when I graduated in 24. No, actually, I graduated in November 2013. I was applying to everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing was landing. Yeah, I looked up. Recruiter hit me up from Apex, and I gotta tell everybody. I I always keep it honest. That first help desk contract, seventeen an hour. Yeah, but to me from Shreveport, Louisiana, mm-hmm. oh that's I'm good. Yeah, because yeah. I'm around people that's making ten, mm-hmm. twelve, yeah. eight dollars an hour. Yeah. yeah, not realizing that what I was getting paid at the time was getting underpaid because. Mm-hmm. We was doing the most work. Them them teams I was telling we assigned stuff to, mm-hmm. they don't do nothing until we assign it to them. Mm-hmm. Oh, we yeah. the ones taking the calls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I was like, man, like, am I going to land something? Like, because it is stupid me. Mm-hmm. I had to get a clearance for the role. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I worked at Target all throughout college. So I was back at Target. And so they was like, yeah, you're supposed to start like April. So I quit before I actually like got the official first day. But I actually think I needed that relief. Like I went from graduating in 2013 directly back to working from yeah. like college. So it was like I was just on go and go. I needed that month and like a couple of weeks of like not doing nothing. Yeah. But I just unfortunately really wasn't prepared for it. Like money had got real tight right yeah. before then. But yeah. then I finally got that starting and it had to drive and it was on now. It was like